So for this next one, we're simplifying the expression. Um, these things look scarier than they are, right? And they're they're written to, to look really scary. Um, so there's lots of rules that we, we need to try and remember for things like this. And one of them is, is if you have something like this, so you've got two powers of x, one on top and one on bottom of a fraction, you can write it one of two ways. You can write it as x to the a minus b. So you can bring this up top and then just subtract the exponent b from a. Or you can bring things to the denominator and you write it in the other order. Okay. So this this is a very important rule for simplifying fractions like this. It lets us simplify what's inside quite a lot. So inside we have r squared times s to the 4 thirds divided by r to the 1 third times s to the first. So piece by piece here, we're going to simplify this. Let's take the first piece, which is the r's. Um, we want to try and make sure all the powers are positive. So let's take this r to the 1 third up top and use this rule. And the reason is, is because 2 is bigger than 1 third, so we'll get a positive difference there. Okay. So we get r to the 2 minus 1 third times s to the 4 thirds over s. This is to the 6th. Okay. Next step. Let's take care of the s. This is s to the first, and 4 thirds is bigger than s. Uh, sorry, 4 thirds is bigger than 1. So we're going to bring this up top by doing this subtraction on the right again. OK, so this is now r to the 2 minus 1 third. I'm just going to go ahead and, and do that subtraction. 2 is 6 thirds. Subtracting 1 third makes it 5 thirds. I hope that's OK with everybody. I, I quickly simplified that there. Then we have s to the 4 thirds minus 1. In your work, if you skipped this and you just wrote, you know, like this, That'd be totally fine. You can do both the R and the S at the same time. I, I don't care. Here I'm just showing them step by step, being very, what's the word, pedantic, I think. I'm trying to show you every step. But you can combine multiple steps together. That's fine. OK, so we've got R to the 5 thirds times S to the 1 third, 4 thirds minus 1. So 3 thirds is just 1 third. OK, now we've got another rule, which we're going to use heavily in this next one, is if you've got x times y, two things, let's say this is to the a and this is to the b, and you raise them to some other power, this can be written x to the a times c times x to the b times c. And this is only true if this is a product or a quotient. It's not true for sums and differences. So this is a special property of real numbers and multiplication and division. It does not hold for addition and subtraction. We remember, if that is an addition or subtraction, we have to do this foiling process, this, this distribution process of multiplying out C copies of this. So, 
So we're going to use this rule here. We've got r to the 5 thirds times s to the 1 third, all raised to the 6th power. So we can take that 6 and distribute it to the powers. So 5 thirds times 6 times s to the 1 third times 6. Well, 5 thirds times 6 is 10. 1 third of 6 is 2. So that's our solution. r to the 10th, s to the 2nd, both multiplied together. Okay, we're just distilling this ugly algebraic expression to something that's really kind of a lot simpler. There's multiple ways to do this. You could have distributed the 6 to every power at the very beginning. Just multiply every power in there by 6 and then do the same process. You could have brought everything to the denominator and done the same process and then flipped it in the end. Like there's 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 a dozen ways you could have done this. This is just one of them. And all of them are correct. Questions on this one? turn my heater on. I hope it's not too loud. It's like 60 degrees in my basement right now. I can't wait for summer. <laughs> okay, here we go. Square root of x squared y to the fourth. So I said earlier, I, I predicted we're going to be using this one pretty heavily. And the reason is square roots are the same as powers. What power is the square root the same as? Somebody help me out. Two. Not two. Close. Very close. Okay. Yes, one over two. Yes. So there's this there's this general rule that if you've got a root with any number, what no matter what it is, a fourth root, a third root, whatever, you can rewrite it as whatever's inside raised to the reciprocal of that number on the root. So here, the square root, technically there's a there should be a 2 here, but nobody writes that because it's the most common root. And so you just take the reciprocal of that and it's 1 half. Very good. Okay, now let's apply this rule. Okay, we've got x squared so we take the 2 and multiply it by the 1 half. We've got y to the 4th, so we take that 4 and multiply it by 1 half. Half of 2 is 1. Half of 4 is 2. That's it. This works because that's a product in between them. We can distribute powers across products. Again, we cannot distribute across sums and differences. Okay, questions on that one? Okay, I'm going to move along to the next one. 